Hey everyone, welcome back to Amore Fabrics. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Selena. Um, today I'm sharing you guys um, a daily deal. Now the quilted kits are finally done. Well, they were completed yesterday and put in the shop yesterday. For those who follow me, if you don't follow me and you are interested, down below is the social media outlet links. Um, Facebook, obviously here is YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, Instagram, I try my best. But um, for those who do follow me, you've got the updates when these posted in the shop. Um, the video I knew is going to take a little bit more time before it posts. So those who wanted on the list to be notified when they, they make it to the shop, they got notified. So anytime you guys want to sign up for the social media um, links down below, you'll get the first dibs before I ever do a video. So once the things land into the shop, you can go right on over there before you even um, before this post and, and then everyone sees it. So those who've already signed up for that have already had the first choice. So today is the day I'm actually showing the video. So I'm sure many of you who've already purchased already um, are going to be glad to see exactly what's going in the kit. Um, first, if you want to fast forward, you can go ahead to see the kits. I'm going to show each kit um, one after another. First, I'm going to open up the children's kit um, to show you what they're like. And then I'm going to open up the quilted kits, which they're kind of clustered here, and what they're like. Um, but uh, if you down below is the shop's link. I had listed them individually. So as what you see is what you get kits. So instead of doing the drop down menu and you're going to be like, what do I get? I wanted you guys to see your own listing on each kit to see, okay, okay, this is what exactly I'm getting kind of thing. So run on over there if you want to grab that while you can. I know over half of them I think are already gone um, before this video. So um, again, another reason to sign up to get notifications before this does post. Um, so first, before um, I get into the kits, I wanted to give you guys an update of what really inspired the kits. And I wanted to do that for like a minute or two. And then I'm going to dig into the kits to show you them. So if you're still here, I'm glad because I want you guys to hear the story. This story is um, about a, not only a customer, but a customer that became a friend over 12 to say 15 years ago. Her name is Betty. Hey, Betty. I've talked about her years ago in the past when I purchased from her. She's not a shop owner. Um, she's just a person who loves to journal who loves junk, just like many of us, and to create with it. And this is one of her creations that I purchased from her. I follow her in her Facebook group. Um, I don't know if you call it a group. Her Facebook page. Down below is her Facebook link if you want to follow her. She doesn't normally sell a lot, but when she does, um, they're just adorable. And this is one of them. It's just gorgeous. And I'm not going to do a flip through. I just wanted to show you a few things because tomorrow I'm doing a video on how to create this little heart wrap that you see here. Now each one of these kits, no matter which kit you get, you'll be getting one of these. I've made these for every kit. That is my gift to you guys. And there's a story behind why I chose this. Um, but quickly back over to Betty. Betty is a sweet lady. Um, and I'm really grateful to know her. I reached out to her and asked her, you know, Betty, do you mind if I share your little heart wrap? And she said, sure. So on tomorrow's video, I'm showing you how to create it, make it, how to use um, the eyelets, how to, uh, what kind of tool to use, that kind of thing. So I'm actually going to do a how-to video tomorrow. Wow, crazy, right? <laughs> I'm always busy in the warehouse, cutting, stocking, or selling you guys stuff. So I'm finally going to sit down and enjoy and share with you guys as I create um, the ones I'm making for the kits that you guys see here. So thank you, Betty. So reach out to her, um, follow her, and... Um, Maybe you can grab one of her journals. Um, tomorrow again, I'm going to show you that, that journal and show you her creation as well. But this heart thing got me because one, Valentine's Day is coming. That wasn't the main incentive. The main reason was because of this fabric. Now, I chose the white ivory fabrics hearts for every kit because the journal covers in these kits are very colorful. And I wanted them to match every journal cover. So whatever cover you choose to create a journal, I wanted that heart wrap to look good. So hence, that's why I picked this color and not pink or blue. Um, and um, another reason um, why I chose this fabric, um, every kit has the same fabric. I don't know if you guys can kind of see. It's all quilted and it's really cute. Is because um, I had two shams. <laughs> this is the funny story of it all. Fast forward if you want to. But um, 
my cat, those who follow me, I have a cat. Her name is Katie K. We had for 19 years, just passed. And I don't want to go too much into it because I don't want to cry on camera. But, um, pause a second. Okay. So, um, we, she was getting older in her age and we had this bedspread that was, um, her favorite that I got from Target. I absolutely loved it. And I had two shams that I never used. Um, and so I took those two shams. Um, obviously I'm not going to create you guys something from my cat's bedding. <laughs> so they were used and un unused two shams. And I cut a bunch of these hearts out and I created these little wraps and I thought I can put in a little bit of pieces of her as my gift, not only to you guys, I know she's my cat and it meant to me, meant to me, but I feel like I'm spreading the love and I see this and as I am creating them, it's helping me heal and think of her at the same time. And then I know I'm, I don't want to say too much more, but, um, Betty and I were thinking about, you know, what kind of wraps, uh, threading to put through here. I absolutely loved Betty's idea, her cording here. Um, I like it because it's simple and it'll match every journal cover. Um, she did mention using jute. Um, I didn't put that in the kit, but it's a good idea too. Now each kit will have this cording. It's a yard and a half of it. I gave you plenty to work with. Um, but at home, if you decide to, you can actually use, I think jute would look cute too on some of them. But I didn't know if everyone would like jute. So I went with the simple route and I think it kind of goes with everything and you have room to tie it and everything. So tomorrow's video, I'll be more in depth on how to make this um, and how to do it yourself at home and more stories about um, Katie and Betty and all that. Really, I wanted to share with you guys the kits. Every kit will get one. I'm making it for you guys regardless. Um, not everyone has a sew machine or the tools to do it, but at least I can inspire you to try. So. Um, so starting with the garden children's kits, I have only 20 of those. Now just the vintage, oh my gosh, packed quilted kits that come with the embroidery scissors. Um, I had 26 of those. They are, like I said, what you see is what you get kits. The children's kits, I use all vintage books from the 1940s all the way up to, oh my gosh, I think it was like the 1970s um, pages. I made sure they were full size pages. We have some golden book pages in there, but I mainly wanted to do the larger book pages. Now what I did too, since I only had 20 kits, um, each kit will come with a book cover, an additional book cover, because there's the quilted ones that come with it, I'll show you. Because um, I didn't want to dump these into the garbage can. So this here, like this one here. So when you go to the listings, when you go to the shop, you'll see the book in that listing, your own listing, um, and it'll show you exactly what you see in this pack. Um, and it'll have the name of that book in that listing. So. Again, just absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? So that was my additional gift I put into the children's kits. I just didn't want to discard them. So here's an example of what the children's kits are going to look like. I'm going to show you the example of one kit, um, and then I'll um, at the end of the video, I will go through kit one, kit two, kit three. While it's in its packaging, I'll show you front and back. But again, I think you might want to run on over there before they, they sell out. <laughs> I'm rambling right now, but at least I wanted to show you guys what you get. Now, in the children's kit, you will get, like I said, what you see is what you get. I notice I'm missing one of my trims here. Oh, it's right here. It's inside the package. Okay, I'm going to move the quilted kit so I don't get them confused. And then we'll do quilted second. So here is an example of one of the children's kits. Each kit will get a vintage book cover, either hardback or not. Um, I know that one or two of the kits that I had listed will be just the dust jacket. It'll say it in the listing that you purchase. So, you know, each kit will have one of the handmade hearted wraps that I, I've created. Um, you will get, okay, I'm going to put the fabric and the quilted pieces last. You'll get 30 pages, 30 variety pages of those books I told you. When you go to the listing, you will see... Um, the books that I used. One of the pictures in the listing will show you all the books that I used to rip up. They were just, oh my gosh, too gorgeous. Each kit will get a embroidery floss, a pack of buttons. In this case, this kit has this. Now this kit that I'm showing you is actually for Betty. I gifted Betty a kit. This is the one I'm giving her. Um, there are more just similar or most likely like this. So this is Betty's kit. So Betty, if you're watching, hi. 
So like I said, tomorrow I'm going to talk more about Betty and how to use and create those heart wraps. Um, each children's kit I put in, because in Lure of My Cat, Miss Katie K, for those who follow me all these years, you know, Katie K liked to meow in every one of my videos. So I'm kind of missing um, that thing right there. So, <clears throat> so I had added, one second. Okay, we can do this. We'll do the skin. All right. I had added an Ex Libris um, library card in every children's kit. It is an actual peel and stick. It's a vintage. So you peel off the sides and they stick inside your book. So you have a little kitty cat like library card for each one and for KDK. All right. So enough of KDK. So I don't like mess this up and my eyes get all. All right. So each kit for the children's kit will get two vintage trims. In this kit, it came like this. Uh, um, minty green eyelet, which is so cute. It just kind of went, when I made these kits up individually, I tried picking out trims and stuff that would look good with whatever you're creating. Uh, pink rig rack, of course. Um, and still children's pages. Just, just gorgeous, right? Absolutely gorgeous. So I'll quickly show you a handful. Again, I made sure it was all colorful, um, all retro. Um, like I said, it's here, like when I did Golden Book pages, a lot of them I did full complete pages because Golden Book pages, you can't really tear in. I mean, I guess you could fold them in half, but I wanted I wanted it to be easy to work with. Some Dick and Jane. Well, Alice in the Wonderland. Again, you can run on over there. You get 30 nice, awesome book pages, large and small. Let me go through here and show you some more large ones. Just absolutely gorgeous, right? Look at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> gorgeous, right? I wanted it all colorful. You guys know if you go to my shop, I love things all colorful. Oh, look at that. Betty's going to love that. Again, you can't go wrong with your guys' kits. Little Miss Muffet, set on her Muffet. Look at there. My, uh, my grandma's name is Muffet. So that's a little spit story about myself. Little Miss Muffet, M-U-F-F-E-T-T. Oh, look at that. I love the vintage quilt. That would see, goes perfectly with this kit. And then each kit, I put a manila envelope. Um, most of them are manila color. I don't know why there's a blue one in here. So, Betty, you got blue. <laughs> but I would say 9 out of 10 are this manila. The reason why I did that, because we're going to go into here in a minute, your journal covers that you get in the kit. All right, Betty, I hope you like this. I hope she's going to love seeing this little thing. So, in that same kit, um, you're going to be getting, let's see, like I said, you get to choose your kit covers and everything. And this kit is the most beautiful blue and pinks, of course, boy and girl. Like I said, look at, isn't that cool? So if you did like a two inch spine, let's see here. You got yourself a really cute journal. And there's a cute little heart wrap. Either you want to do blue, say you want to do pink journal. You had choices. And what I love about these quilted pieces I put in here. I don't know if you can see this. I don't know if you guys seen it in other videos as well. It's stitched because someone had hand stitched. So when I cut along the seams, you didn't have to do any work. Like you don't have to do any sewing at all. All you have to do is sew in your, your signature. You don't even have to line it. It's ready to go. It's just beautiful. It just absolutely beautiful. You got one of those in the kit. Now the children's kits, um, these, these little journal covers are smaller. They are, I think, seven, you'll see in the listing. But the quilted kits, they're all 10 and a half by 14 and a half inch pieces. So the children's kits are smaller, but you get a different variety of things. Then you get this. It's a hand-stitched, isn't that beautiful? All hand-stitched um, square block type journal cover. And I put in there a piece of chenille. The, the quilted kits, you get the same thing, but a larger version. Um, and this is like a, each chenille is different in every kit. So this is a small chenille, wavy chenille. The other ones have maybe a little fluffier chenille. But I thought this would be perfect as a liner inside of a journal. Sorry, guys, I'm backwards. I thought it'd be a nice liner. Um, or if you wanted to, each kit has a yellow fabric as well. Might be a beautiful liner as well, um, or pockets, what have you. Children's kits all come in, come with a little um, scallop pink. 
Now, I'm not sure every kit comes with this color doily, but um, I hand dyed these. These are all hand dyed and each come with these two little doilies here. And I don't see in the kits on the ones I'm showing, but I have also in every kit has these two little picks. For those who don't know it's like what picks are, they're like little picks. Um, and there's these little pearl hearts. There's two of them that go in there. You'll see it when you go to the listing. So check that out. This is the children's kit, an example of, which I hope you guys absolutely loved. They are actually, I have them um, in the shop for $34, but I have a shop sale going on, so they're actually going for $32. So free shipping if you spend $35 or more. Um, so yeah, check that out. All right, so the quilted kits are crazy packed. Now, when you go to check out the kits, which I'm going to show you the kits package so you can see the different covers in them, um, they're all different colors because they're not all pink and blue. Some are green and yellow. Some are purple and pink. Um, go over there and check it out. All right, so here's one of the quilted kits. Um, in the quilted kits, I also included a long piece um, as well, which I thought would be awesome for a pocket on the inside of a journal. So when you sew, if you hand sew or you sew machine sew, sew in the pocket um, of that, it will give you a pocket on the inside of each cover. So that is included. Like I said, when you go to listing, what you see is what you get. You'll know which ones you get. Like I said before, the kits, um, the pieces in the quilted kits are larger. Like look at this. So this is a full 10 and a half by 14 and a half hand stitch quilt block um, um, for you are ready to go. And then you got the chenille, which can be the liner. You got fuzzies in there too. Don't mind the fuzzies. I hope Betty loves this. This is Betty's kit. And then you got the large 10 and a half by 14 and a half fabric piece in yellow. The quilted kits, they all come with different buttons. Betty, I put in a beautiful vintage shell button, which I think she loves. I collect vintage Mother of Pearl shells, so I chose one out of my collection for her thanking her. Now each um, quilted kit also comes with a pair of embroidery scissors. Can't go bad, right, with that. Brand new. I bought a bunch of them to go in every kit. I made it look like, you know, make it look, you know, like a vintage look to go with the quilted. Embroidery floss. Trims. You get two trims in this kit and the tr there's one trim missing. Um, there should be another, another trim that goes in this kit. <laughs> Oh man, I'm sure it probably fell out when I moved things. I'm making my way over here. But there's two trims. Here's one, which is pretty. Um, each kit um, comes, the quilted kits will all have the same uh, doily that came from a long, long strand. And I figured this would be a cute pocket where you can cut this in different ways. You can make this a pocket and make these two little clusters of some sort. I figured you guys will figure something. Now the quilted kit, which I was hoping to find that second trim, you get two trims, and you get those two heart picks, like I told you. You'll see in the listing. I don't know why I didn't have it all here for you. At least you have an example. You'll get, oh my gosh, so the quilted kit is 30 pages as well, large pages. None of them are small. All are 30 pages um, of nothing but vintage quilts. I did this for decorations. So isn't that pretty? That's just so pretty. So it's all quilt pages, all vintage quilts. I'm going to show you an example of one, and you can't go wrong. You know, some black and white, but still just beautiful. No matter which way you fold, you're going to have beautiful quilt pages. Oh, look at this. This is one of the most popular quilts of all. Look at this. Who would have thought, right? All that work. I would love to have one. Look at that retro fabrics. Just, just gorgeous, no matter which way. Oh, here you go, Grandmother's Flower Garden quilt. Look at that. It's the most popular quilt that people like to put as like a wall decor. They have to put little wall pockets on it and they hang it on the wall as well as put on the bed. There's the pattern for it. See? I love to have this one here in red and white or red and cream. Wedding ring quilt. That's another popular one. Look at that. See? 
I mean, there's so many. I had, I had, gosh, I would probably say 50 or 60 quilting books. I used to collect them. And that's actually a log cabin quilt. Well, this is, there's so many different versions of log cabin quilts. This one is the hexagon. All, all it is is the same pattern, but people switch the pattern direction to create different designs. But if you, it's like 3D effect. If you step back, you see the log cabin quilt pattern in the backdrop. I know. I could probably go all day talking about, um, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Um, about quilts. But anyways, so you kind of get the drift. Now you guys have an idea. A ton of, oh, look at that. K uh, Betty. <laughs> Kitty cats. I wish I could keep that. Can I like swipe that out and no one will know? <laughs> Joking. <laughs> All right, guys. So, okay. So you get 30 pages. The thing's packed. So $32, guys. You can't keep that. All right. I'm going to put this aside. Of course, then you get the quilted things that I made for every one of them. Let me press pause, and I'm going to show you guys the kits in order. But again, right at the shop, um, they're all in there individually for you guys to look them over and choose. So hang on one second. Let me grab them, though. Okay, here's children's kit number one. You can kind of see. Are they, oh, here's those picks I was telling you about. Oh, sorry, the glare. I'm going to try to get up here. There they are. I made them into hearts, but they're bendable. They can be like a, a loop. They can be any shape. I just kind of bent them in. They're vintage picks. That's what they call them. I thought they'd be cute. So there's kit number one. Here is two. I did put in some Christmas ones because sometimes people still want the Christmas theme. And so I put the red cover in there. But look at it. Here's two. Here's three. See how I changed out the trims, the color of this, the um of everything. Here we go. Here's another one of the nursery rhymes. That's the dust jacket one. Here's five. Five had this really cool children's book. Um, I hope someone grabs it because inside has a beautiful, you know what, hang on. I could probably open it up and show you. Here we go. It had this really cool side pocket. I don't know if you can see it. I wish I had something to put in there. Come on now, I have all this paper. Anyway, something can go into there. Um, but the insides was so cool. It was so cool. Anyways, don't, the outside doesn't give it justice to the inside, I guess is what I'm saying. Then we have this one here that comes with that book. This is kit number six. I guess I can move this over. Kit number seven, prayers for children. Look at that. Kit number eight is for puppies. Kit number nine is garden verses for children again. Look at, see how I'm telling you, there's a ton of beautiful, colorful pages in them and everything you get as well. Another two, only did two Christmas, but they are the, the most popular ones though. Maybe you guys can save it. This one here had some Christmas pages in it. Save it for like a project for Christmas, you know, you never know for the price and everything. Oh my God. The Alice in Wonderland one is so cool inside. Let me go ahead and open her up here in a minute for you guys. Oopsie. Sorry, the glare. All right. I didn't show it in the thing. Yeah, look at it. Isn't that cool? And the spine was really nice. It turned out really nice. So whoever gets that one's gonna be a really cool one. All right, number 12. Let's see here. Oh, that's so cute. It looks like you got greens and blues. Sorry, I'm not going too fast on you guys. All right, let's move you over. Now I lost my order of things. Oh, look at number 13. Look at the little princess one. Um, it comes with Bambi, too. That's too cute. Number 14 is birds. Look at that. Here's number 15. Come on, guys. They're just they're just too cute. Oh, my gosh. Wait to the inside of this. This one's got the purple cover. It's funny. I was talking to someone. I thought they were deer. They're actually goats. Come on now. I should have knew that, right, Heidi? Look at the inside. Spine can be re reinforced. Look how cute. Too cute. I had to throw that in there. Um, and then number 16. Whoopsie. Things kind of move down so you can't see the faces. And that is Nursery Tales. Here's number 17. Oh my god, look at that cute little bunchkin. Too cute. Mother Goose, hardback. Just too cute. Look at the baby in a baby carriage. 
and number 18. Look at that, nursery songs. All right, let me press pause, and I'll show you the quilted ones, guys. Okay, here's number one. I gotta close the door really quick. The husband's on the phone making an appointment. All right, here's number one. I hope the glare doesn't, like, high twin. It is packed. They're pretty heavy. Here's number one. Here's number two. Here's number Everything's in there. The trims and everything's in there. Here's number three. Like I said, the embroidery scissors, everything's in there. The listings, you have to go over there. Go to listings. You're going to see everything all laid out individually. Every one of these, I did 46 individual listings, guys. You don't realize 46 photo shoots, 46 listings, um, 46 handmade kits. It was a lot of work, but I wanted you guys to have choices. Look at this. This is number five. Look at that trim. Those two trims. Like, gorgeous. Here's number six. As a quilter, I'm telling you, the pages are gorgeous. Look at that retro bun. Cute. It looks like we got a shell in there, too. Um, here's number seven. All right, guys, like I said, I have 26 of these, so here's number eight. Like I said, if you want to run over there, run over the retro buttons, and I did, like, measuring tape trim and another one in there. Here's number nine. The quilted kits are amazing, right? This is an absolutely long video. I'm sure you're going to be running over there, I hope. Oh, look at that. Look at that handmade trim. The trims are 10 inches each. Each cut is a 10 inch. I was thinking in case you're doing the border of your journals, if you want to do these, like a page, side pages or something. All right, here's another one of those vintage trims as well. Two of them. This is number 11. All right. Here's 12. You guys can't go wrong. So many beautiful quilts. Here's 13. Here's 14. I have to go grab another bin. Be right back. Okay, here's 15. Woo! All my lights are making a glare. Now plastic. We can do this, guys. Here's 16. Again, with some more of that handmade. I can show you guys a piece of it. Look at that handmade. That gorgeous. I put that in there because look at all that blue I have in this kit. So many beautiful blues. Number 16. Here's number 17. It has this this lace in there. I don't know if you can see that. Isn't that cool? I thought it was cool. Kind of like a hit in there. 17. Here's 18. Another one of those. Number 19. Here's 20. Here is 21. Here's 22. Here's 23. Here's 25. <laughs> oh my god, it's a 30 minute video. Here's 26. And the one I showed today, I don't have it listed. But um, if there's that one, I usually do that with a lot of my kits. If there's one, um, I keep one unlisted because there's sometimes there's that one customer who, who missed out and they're like, oh no. Do you have any more? And I always feel bad when I say, sorry, sorry, I don't have any more. <laughs> I have that one backup. So no worries for that one Lone Ranger who um, just ran out and forgot. Um, I have one left at the end. So hopefully, hopefully, 
<laughs> there would be enough for everyone. That's my main goal. Okay, guys, so tomorrow I will be doing, like I said, the video. I'm going to bring all the tools, the sew machine, um, and everything to show you how I made this. I don't want you guys to fret because if you don't have a sew machine and you don't know how to do this uh, without a sew machine, you don't have to worry about it because you don't really need a sew machine. Um, I, you can hand stitch because the only stitch work that you actually have is stitching these two little hearts together. Um, that's it. Now, as far as the eyelet, I have another easy tool to show you guys that you can get that's inexpensive to put eyelets in. Or you guys, I'm going to be using the crocodile as well. So I'll have that out tomorrow. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And uh, hopefully it'll be a nice video for you guys tomorrow. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't ramble too much. Um, and I, I'm really thrilled that these kits turn out beautiful. It took longer than I expected. And I thank you guys for those who've been waiting and waiting since before Christmas for me to complete this um, to get it done. See, patience pays off because you get a kit that is created and uh, completed beautifully. So, all right, guys, you guys have a great day. Hopefully you watch tomorrow's video on how to make those little hearts. You guys have a blessed day.